Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very special day that I've been waiting for uh, for a long, long time. As you guys can tell by the sub count on the channel, we hit 100,000 subscribers about two weeks ago, man. And YouTube has finally sent our play button. It arrived in the mail actually on Wednesday. This is going up on Sunday, but it arrived in the mail Wednesday. I was waiting to record this video to open it, man. And I could not be more excited for this, dude. This is such a huge accomplishment for me, for the channel, for us, for you guys, man. Supporting me on the channel, being a part of the community, watching the channel and everything. I cannot thank you guys enough, man. You guys have no idea how much you guys have changed my life. You know, ever since, ever since I was literally in seventh grade, I remember making YouTube videos back then. You know little small random stuff right i would do like wwe edits i would do call of duty edits back in modern warfare 2 and shit like that trick shots and things then i transferred over to being a streamer for a little bit on twitch uh, under a couple of different names like feared visions was one of the names and stuff like that you know all those older names you had back in the middle school days and stuff but back then Transferred over to streaming, did that for a long time. I played competitive COD for a while, tried to go pro in that, Advanced Warfare. I was a fucking monster in that game, bro. Didn't ever end up, you know, following through with it, but I've always been in the content creation kind of, in the content creation world, if you will, for a very, very, very long time. Like I said, since back in like seventh, eighth grade is back when I first got into it. And then, you know, the consistency was obviously up and down and whatnot. Didn't really know what I fully wanted to do. There was a time where I was doing videos on 2K. Um, there, there was a long time without me doing any reactions. Like I said, I went through my competitive COD phase. I was Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, stuff like that. I stopped at Infinite Warfare just because I didn't like the movement and whatnot. But my point being, I've been in this world for a long time. And ever since I was young, man, I've always had dreams of wanting to be able to do this as a full-time job, do some type of content creation, right? Whether it was YouTube, whether it was Twitch, whether it was, you know, competitive gaming and stuff like that. It's always just been something that I've loved doing and enjoyed doing. And I've known for a very, very long time that this is what I wanted to do. But, you know, I just wasn't consistent with it. That and I, this was, this was like, obviously YouTube and content creation is a lot different nowadays. Like, Back then, it was already hard to get into it and get your, you know, foot in the door and kind of make a name for yourself back then. But nowadays, I feel like it's even harder. There, There's just so many content creators out there. There's so many different forms, TikTok, Facebook, you know, Twitter, things like that. And it's it, a lot of it is luck too, man. You know, getting in the algorithm and whatnot. There's so many smaller channels I see, not just in the reaction community, but just in, in the content creation scene, whether it's, you know, um like reviewing products or gaming or reactions themselves just any type of content man and i see some people with amazing content that just you know they're, they're a small channel not because they're making bad content but just because it's so hard to get into the algorithm nowadays and there's so many different things you have to play with and do from the thumbnail to the title to this and that point being man i've been very consistent with this ever since 2018 i want to say my senior year in high school is when I really kind of put my put my head down and started just grinding it out. And I'd been making videos. That's when I started doing reaction videos. I was still streaming at the time a little bit, like 2K, Mortal Kombat, stuff like that. But that's when I really got into the reaction scene. And I actually started out doing YouTube video reactions. You know, I might throw pictures up on screen right now or something, but none of them are on the current channel. And we'll get into that later in this video a little bit more. But I started out just music reactions, WWE reactions, you know, wrestling, all types, New Japan, AEW, stuff like that. And I was doing that for a long ass time from like 2018 till I want to say roughly like October, November of 2019, roughly even 20 back in 2017. I had started it. I think 2017, I think October of 2017 is when I started doing those types of reactions and then all the way till November ish of 2019 which is when i did my first movie reaction right which i want to say was to the dark knight man it was to batman batman begins i think that was my first movie reaction i did or something around there I, it also might have been it but it's been a long time man regardless though i'd done those reaction videos those types you know doing stuff on youtube like i said wrestling horror videos even um and things like that and i was doing that for such a long time and 
I was doing like four to 10 videos a day at one point. And then, you know, eventually it kind of went down more and more. And I was just consistently uploading like four videos a day of those types of reactions, right? They're a lot shorter and they're just kind of sit downs and goes. You don't really have to do any editing. The thumbnails were pretty, you know, easy to pump out too. And I was doing those for a really long time. And I keep in mind at this point, I graduated from high school in 2017. I was working a full-time job once I graduated. Ended up quitting that job I was working at. I was working as an apprentice at a machine shop, you know, because my brother, he's a machinist. And I just kind of followed in his footsteps because I really, other than content creation, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I wasn't just going to graduate high school and go into college and just go dump money into that, not knowing what I wanted to do. I also wasn't just going to sit and do nothing. So I got a full-time job and I was working there as an apprentice and I just, it wasn't for me, man. You know what I mean? There's, I, there's some things you get into and you just, you, you can feel it's not for you. And I was putting in, I was doing like, uh, four tens at the time. And then sometimes over times, you know, four, uh, or five tens, you know, a week. And that just kind of kills your whole entire day, man, at that point. So it was so hard to get into other stuff. So I ended up switching to part-time on that for a little bit. And then I ended up going to a new job. Um, and it was kind of like something similar to Costco, right? And I worked day shift there for a little bit and then I got transferred onto the night shift and I was working graveyard. And essentially when I started doing movie reactions, man, I, my schedule looked like I would wake up at 10 o'clock at night. I'd go to work from 11 PM till 7 AM. I would come home, sleep for about an hour and a half, two hours till 8:30 or nine, get back up record a video edit a video whatever i had to do youtube wise all the way up until like 1 1 30 then from like 1 30 ish up until 5 was kind of free time to go grocery shopping go see my parents you know spend time with my girlfriend take care of the daily responsibilities people have to take care of and i would go to sleep from 5 to 10 and that was essentially my schedule for so long just grinding this shit out man and it was tough but i it was a it, it's a type of grind that you kind of end up falling in love fallen in love with a little bit man you know and i was tired as hell back then like if you watch my videos from way back then you always see me yawning you see bags under my eyes and that's why man but i did not care how tired i was i wanted to make it happen man i just wanted to be consistent and that's the biggest thing man you know i get a lot of people messaging me on instagram or emailing me this and that how to start a channel how to do this how to do that and my biggest thing i always tell people one just start and two be consistent and three don't do it for money. You got to do it because you love it, man. Because like I said, I've been doing this shit since like seventh, eighth grade consistently. I've been doing this since 2017. I didn't start making money from this real money until about <sighs> roughly March, April. I started to make some okay money of 2020. So about three years of doing this shit with just no return or anything like that. Just doing it because I love to do it. So I always tell people, man, so many people want to get into content creation and stuff just because it looks like it's easy money and quick money and stuff like that. But it's not, you know, it's a grind and you got to do it a long time to build your following and build up people that that'll watch you and enjoy your content and find it, find your niche too. And not only that, but sharpen your skills, learn how to edit, learn how to create, learn how to talk on camera, learn how to, you know, be in front of a camera that's live and not kind of feel awkward. Cause a lot of people feel awkward when they turn on a camera and whatnot but fast forward i think this was around this was june of 2019 or may of 2019 around that time june or may of 2019 i'm gonna throw a picture up on screen i literally had this whiteboard on my wall in my office at me and my girlfriend's apartment that we were living in at the time and i wrote these goals down in a couple of you know quotes it says may 22nd so i'm assuming that's the day i wrote it down may 22nd of 2020 of 2019 is when I wrote this down and it says May 22nd, 2020, hundred K subs, full-time YouTuber. And that is my year goal. So in a year from 29, May 22nd, 2019, that was my goal is to be a full-time YouTuber and to have a hundred thousand subscribers. And now I know some of you guys are thinking like, damn, it's 2023 and you're just hitting hundred K. If you guys have been around it since back then, you know what happened on the first channel, September, 2021, we had 77,000 subs at the time. And we lost the channel, man. So September 2021 till now, we have got to 100K, man. And we have scratched and clawed our way back when that first channel got taken out and deleted. It was a tough time, man. But I decided I was going to go back at it, created the channel again, re-uploaded all the videos, and we are here, man. You know, it's been a long time coming, but we are finally here to check this out and open it. I'm telling you guys, writing down your goals, manifesting it, 
getting out on the universe getting it on paper on a whiteboard something that you can look at every single day is such a big thing dude and again i know like i said we're just hitting 100k now but when i wrote this down may 22nd 2019 I wrote that I wanted to be a full-time YouTuber within a year. And keep in mind, at this time, I was working at that job, that warehouse Costco job. It wasn't Costco, but it was similar to Costco, right? If you guys have ever heard of, you know, Cash and Carry Smart Food Service, they've had a few different names. But I was working there, graveyard and shit, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. And during this time, that entire year, I was consistent with the uploads and everything like that. May 22nd, 2019 is when I wrote that down. And I quit my job around June 6th of 2020 so literally a year and like two weeks from when i wrote that down i was able to quit my full-time job and do youtube full-time not scraping by at this time me and my girlfriend we bought a house together with the jobs we were working at in may is when we closed on that house and i quit my job in june so i was making decent enough money to be able to pay for you know our own house at that time too a year from when i wrote that down it is so important to write your goals down manifest them man and have them on something you can look at every single day whatever it is whether it has to do with schooling college you know a job you want to get a dream you want to chase write your goals down so that you know what you're going after so that you have a clear vision because if you don't have a clear vision where are you going you know what i mean you can't drive a car if you don't know the destination and that is the biggest thing in life but we are going to open this. It has been sitting on my counter downstairs. I scratched off my address, so, you know, it looks a little goofy, but it's been it's been a long time coming, dude. I'm so excited for this. And again, I just want to say thank you guys, man. You guys have changed my life more than you could ever imagine. You know, what I mean, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this YouTube thing for. I don't know how long I'm going to be around, but we got we got plans for this year and for next year right me and my girlfriend she's coming back into the videos a little bit more i know a lot of people have been asking where she's been what she's been doing she's been doing her own thing living her own life you know what i mean i don't force her in the videos if she doesn't want to be but she has been wanting to be in them more and more lately so obviously we did a few uh we did a reaction to into the spider verse across the spider verse recently we just finished up the adams family which is over on patreon already so if you guys want to go check that out check it out it's in the uh description down below the first two movies are up on patreon the last one's going up tomorrow on monday and the first one's going up on youtube tomorrow on monday so if you guys want to check our reactions to that go to over to patreon they are already up and we are also starting the tv show wednesday now that we have finished the adams family we're going to be watching wednesday together i don't know um i think there's one season for sure maybe two seasons but another netflix show obviously is based off the adams family that's all i really know about it but we're going to be starting that together i am planning on bringing anime back to the channel hopefully i know a lot of people have been asking for it obviously i did death note i did attack on titan those are the only two animes i have ever watched i tried to do demon slayer we got through like four episodes and we got a copyright strike for it so i just can that because i'm not even going to risk this channel at this point but i do want to get back into anime so comment some animes down below what i should check out we just finished up ahsoka obviously wednesday will be uh replacing that and going up on wednesdays unironically right and then sunday we have an open slot which later this month i'm going to do a poll over on patreon for what tv show will take or fill that spot and maybe it'll end up being an anime who knows but comment some animes down below that you guys want me to check out and comment some tv shows that you guys want me to check out i've asked the people over on patreon already but i have not asked you guys over here on youtube so if you're at this point in the video still comment down below some of your favorite tv shows that i have not reacted to yet and maybe it'll end up being in the poll but let's check out this play button man ladies and gentlemen move paper and stuff just in case there's my address on it bam come on now oh my god it is so surreal seeing it in person man seeing the name on it oh my god i know it's 100k plaque you guys have probably seen them a thousand times and stuff but it's so surreal for me seeing it in person having my name on it and just getting this for the channel man like i said we couldn't i couldn't have been here without you guys man watching the videos commenting on the videos everything i try my best to you know interact with you guys as much as i can i i reply to comments every single day 
on here i don't get back to everybody obviously but i try my best to reply to as many as i can throughout the day obviously if you guys don't know either i do have a discord it's linked in the description down below i talk to you guys over there i talk to people on instagram i try and reply and interact with you guys as much as possible because like i said without you guys i would not be here this would not have been possible you know what i mean and this channel is just as much mine as it is your guys's or vice versa because i really do see us as like a little a close community you know, and I know some of you guys have been around for a really long time. Some of you guys have been around since back in the day when I had the first channel and I was doing literally just the wrestling reactions, the music reactions and things like that. Some of you guys came in right when I started the movie reactions and some of you guys have just come in on the new channel. And regardless, whenever you guys have come in, you know, I always try and I, I always try and interact with you guys as much as I can. I and I encourage you guys, if you have not, come over, join the Discord. Like I said, it is linked in the description down below, man. I'm in there. I check it throughout the day. And if people got questions for me or want to talk about anything, I normally try my best to respond. But come over there, join the Discord. If you guys aren't a part of the Patreon and you guys want to join the Patreon, full-length reactions, early access reactions, things like that, link is in the description down below. The Patreon, it, it, it's, it, it's one of the big things that keeps the channel going too, right? But I appreciate you guys watching, man. I appreciate you guys supporting. Like I said, we have some big things coming over the next couple of months, over the next few weeks, really some new shows starting, some new movie reactions coming out. And who knows, maybe anime returning to the channel. We got some Halloween movies coming out as well. But like I said, I cannot thank you all enough, man. We've we've been through some crazy stuff on the YouTube journey, so to speak, you know, with the whole the whole situation with the first channel. And everything like that and then the the movie reactions just blowing up the way they did and kind of evolving into what they are today right reaction videos are everywhere now i feel like back then there wasn't a ton but now they've just blown up so much man and it's just a it's a crazy spot but this is literally this is literally essentially my dream job man and i hope i can do this for a very 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 long time regardless though I appreciate you guys watching, man. I appreciate all you guys support. And like I said, we do have some new stuff coming very soon. If you guys want to join the Patreon, link is in the description down below. If you guys want to join the Discord, link is in the description down below. But I appreciate you guys watching, man. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.